All right. It is uh, the man of the hour, John Anthony. Three questions on buy, sell, hold. All right, sir, here we go. Buy, sell, or hold. The Kansas City Current have major problems with their parking fiasco. Oh, I'm buying that one, man. I mean, this thing is apparently uh, getting worse by the day. Um, Now the reports from the Kansas City Star suggest that with parking – set the cost $68 after uh, taxes and fees and only having a couple of thousand parking spaces, there are thousands of season ticket holders who don't know where they're going to park. And apparently this was part of the plan. This is the most insane part of the story. The Kansas City Star uh, reports here in part that this was all part of a 64-page traffic study done last May where they presumed – that many fans would arrive by public bus, shuttle buses from remote parking locations, ride shares, like Uber, bikes, and feet. Hmm. No canoes or kayaks. Uh, Not yet. I mean, maybe that didn't make the cut. Coming from the riverside. (laughs) Coming down from Parkville on the... I'm telling you what, man. That's what I'm... I mean, hell, that's better than taking the bus Mm -hmm. in this town. You know, it's more reliable. Put me in the kayak with the two girls, and we're going to canoe to the game. I <laughs> mean, have fun. Who thought this was a good idea? It's women's soccer, and I don't say that in an insulting matter. I say that in that it's not a premier sport. It's not Major League foot- or Baseball, and it's not the NFL. Anything that is not those two sports is not a premier sport. Soccer is not close to being there in this country. That's just a fact. I have two, soon to be three daughters. I'm not knocking women's soccer. Stop freaking out. But if you are a sport that is not a premier sport in this country, you need to do everything in your power to make it as easy and accessible as possible to get people there. Do not give them an excuse to say, you know what? I'm not going to go to the game. If I got to take two little kids down and then i got to park somewhere and then get on a shuttle bus and oh, do all that nonsense. I'm just not doing it. I'm not. I mean, I've been to a lot of Chiefs games the last few years. And if I had to park somewhere off-site and then shuttle to Arrowhead, I would go to fewer games. And that is for the two-time, or the back-to-back, I should say, four-time, back-to-back Super Bowl champs in the most popular sport in this country that get, you know, 120 million people to watch the Super Bowl. This is just, and there are very good business people behind the KC Current. What an enormous mistake. And according to the star, you have thousands of people who already are like trying to unload season tickets now. And I don't blame them one bit. Uh, This is a horrible business model. And they better figure out that parking real soon. If not, um, it's not going to work the way they hoped it would. Because I would have brought the girls to the game. But I'm telling you right now, at 70 bucks to park and or having to drive to a lot or god forbid you know what hop on seven different buses i'm just not doing that that's ridiculous completely ridiculous so what's next john buy sell or hold employees should have freedom of expression while on the job (sighs) sell 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 i hope that this story which we talked about earlier in the hour the national labor relations board ordered home depot to rehire a man with back pay who broke dress code in 2021. He had Black Lives Matter written on his work apron. I hope that they appeal this thing to the Supreme Court. If not, this opens up Pandora's box in office spaces all over America. By the way, including law enforcement here, right? I mean, anywhere in the country. Could you imagine if now law enforcement could walk around with, like, you know, political paraphernalia on them on the job? Now, maybe you say that's a loophole or something like that, but as far as I can tell, the National Labor Relations Board says here in its 3-1 decision that this guy who had BLM paraphernalia on him in 2021, uh, he's protected, and that you can take public positions on workplace conditions or joining a union tying back to the 1935 National Labor Relations Act, whether or not the bosses want it or not. We don't need more reasons to be divided politically right now. And the only way to do it, one of the few ways to do it and make it worse, is to allow, you know, your local clerk at McDonald's to say, you know, that'll be uh, 972 for your Big Mac. By the way, 
you know, make America great again or Black Lives Matter or, you know, uh, what other dumb slogans am I forgetting right now in politics? Raise the minimum wage, you know, something ridiculous like that. So this is, uh, I mean, just a horrible idea. Can you imagine checking out the guy like Nick Wright at the register? <laughs> Let me ask you something. Here's my question to you. Here is my question to you. My question to you is. Sir, right. this is a Wendy's. Yeah, I just want to go. <laughs> you know, no bag. No receipt. Thank you. Okay. Oh, gosh. No bag. You know, no, no bag. No, no, no bag. Anyway, what are you doing? I digress oh, there. That was, that was a, can you believe it, John? That was a week ago this hour, man. That was the 8 o'clock hour last Friday. <laughs> that was the longest year of my life. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so no expression on the job there. You're not paid to no sell that one. And, okay. All right. Last one here. Buy, sell, or hold the chief signing punt god Matt Arise here. I am buying that. Um, if you don't know this story, it's not about how good he is as a punter. And he was a unanimous All-American coming out of San Diego State. He was drafted by the Buffalo Bills in the 2022 NFL draft. He got cut because he was accused – by then 17-year-old, of um, sexual assault. Well, it turned out it was all BS. Um, yeah, he was in a group, I'll say, so it's not like an individual thing, you know, not one of those relationship things, right? Correct, right. correct, you yes. You have a group situation where he's lumped in. He's lumped into a group, and here's the thing. Oops, it's, I said group. It's even, <laughs> it's even wrong to say that the charges were dropped or the accusations were dropped. Yeah, there you go. The charges were dropped because he was falsely accused of a crime, and she admitted it. So right out of the gates, when this came out in 2022, the story stunk to high heaven. But the Buffalo Bills, being the cowards that they are, cut him anyway. Despite the fact that he was a, you know, if you're drafted as a punter, you're damn good. He had like an 82-yard punt in a preseason game. He was out of football last year over this lawsuit which was dropped in December, and the woman admits to falsely ac accusing Matt Ariza of this. So first off, once again, all movements or a lot of movements typically start from a good-natured and well-meaning perspective. And listen, as a soon-to-be, kind of ties in earlier to what I was saying, father of three daughters, uh, the Me Too movement had its moment where there was a purpose of it where for too long women were not being heard, um, they were not being believed, and that was a problem. But then the pendulum swung so far in one direction where it was if you don't believe every accusation, you're part of the problem. And Matt Ariza got me too completely unfairly. And it was pretty evident early on something about this case stunk. So buying this... A large credit to the Kansas City Chiefs and Clark Hunt all the way on down uh, for them basically backing this guy, giving Matt Ariza a second chance. And unlike the Buffalo Bills, who were completely cowardly, didn't follow the facts, and just rolled their guy under the bus because if they didn't, they were afraid of the blowback of standing by their guy. The Chiefs are saying, you know what? This guy deserves a second chance. Not only does he, he, does, he never got a first chance. He got screwed before right. his first yeah. chance. Yeah, it's exactly. not even like – this isn't even like, oh, a guy gets a second chance. This is not a second chance. This he is just a guy. was in 22, like in March and April, right? Yeah. And then the accusations came down in August. Cut. Yeah, this yep. is a guy who never got his first chance because of an awful, wrongful accusation. And kudos to the Chiefs for making this move and to any of the naysayers, which there really shouldn't be any right now. Um they can pound sand. Buy, sell, hold in the books.